uh, uh, it is at least probably 30 percent more efficient than a conventional tube and wing aircraft. And uh, for the general public, that has several benefits. One is um, lower fuel economy means lower cost. So uh, this kind of aircraft will certainly lower the cost of air travel uh, for the general public. The second reason that, it, that uh, fuel efficiency, of course, is important is emissions. And today, of course, uh, reducing carbon emissions uh, is, is one of our national objectives, as well as reducing pollutants like nitrogen oxide. And with a, a highly efficient aircraft like this, uh, this provides a tremendous improvement and reduction in emissions, both carbon and pollutants. The other advantage that this aircraft has is by the way it's configured with the engines above the fuselage, uh, it gives much lower noise than a traditional tube and wing aircraft which has the engines below the wings. So a great advantage of this aircraft that we're also looking to find improvements and make improvements on uh, is noise reduction by having the configuration, as I said, with the engines uh, above the wings. The flight was structured into three major objectives. Uh, the first one was what we called envelope expansion. And uh, in those flights, what we were looking for was to just understand in general how the plane behaved uh, during standard maneuvers like takeoff and landing. Uh, the second objective was what we called the uh, characterization phase, in which we undertook uh, a variety of maneuvers uh, that looked at, for example, stall characteristics, uh, that looked at uh, what would happen uh, when one engine uh, might be out and we had asymmetric thrust. And then we also performed a set of maneuvers called parameter identification maneuvers, uh, which were ways in which we can quantitatively characterize the aircraft performance. Uh, the third objective was uh, finally what we call limiter assaults. And this was probably the most important phase of the program. In limiter assaults, what we do is we program into the software uh, limits into the aircraft performance. And the goal there is uh, to ensure that even if the pilot, under the worst case condition, would try to put the aircraft into a condition that could cause it to stall or spin or something like that, the internal software prevents the pilot from doing that, thus maintaining and ensuring the integrity and the safety of the aircraft. Uh, the purpose of the uh, X-48B program is to look at the low-speed handling qualities of this kind of aircraft. Uh, in the research that has been done, one of the things that was identified was how does a plane like this handle at low speeds? And of course, that's very important for uh, passenger and aircraft safety to make sure that at low speeds it handles well and predictable.